Hey guys, Desert Alchemist. Uh, here in the mountains today, um, out of wind or out of breath from all the hiking. We found some mushrooms and uh, we're gonna go to this other area where there's more mushrooms, but um, Sean Paul found this giant red-belted conch, which is the uh, Fomatopsis shranki of Mount Lemon. And uh, they, uh, there's a lot of these. This is very common out here. I think I did another video on it, but I think I'm gonna redo it with more um, examples, better, better specimens, and uh, more details. So this conch, usually, right now this one's old and faded, it's still alive, but uh, its color has faded, but usually it has a red band, which is like, uh, it's a matte color. People confuse this with Rishi because it's red, but Rishi's got a very glossy, uh, varnish red color to it and the red and the red belted conch has like a matte um, faded uh, red color it's not as uh, uh, shiny as it is with Rishi and also the the tops of uh, Fomatopsis are usually um, very sappy you touch it and it's sticky and um, it's not uh, it's not smooth like Rishi it's kind of has a rougher edge or rougher surface. Um, and reissue, when you touch it, it's like plastic. It feels like plastic, it's smooth. So that's the difference between the two. Also, the red-belted conch never grows with a stem. It usually is always attached directly to the tree, no stem, and it's always got a, either a bell shape or a, or a semi-flat fan shape. But these mushrooms, when they're young, they grow as a, a small white ball protruding from the tree and their growth spurt is so accelerated that um, sometimes they start leaking out some of their medicinal compounds because they're growing so fast that all this medicine leaks out of them. You can see little um, red or uh, amber colored droplets on the mushroom and then you can actually lick them off or you know consume them and that's all the triterpenoids and all the medicinal compounds found in this mushroom. This mushroom is a really cool medicinal mushroom, just like uh, reishi and other conchs. Uh, not as famous as reishi, but it's got some natural antivirals, some uh, good triterpenoids, and other really powerful medicinal compounds. So um, I have a lot of these. I harvest them a lot, and uh, I collect them. But this is another species that uh, people should uh, harvest if they're into medicinals. But we're going to keep, uh, uh, keep on walking down the mountain forage some more and then hopefully we find more examples to show you i'll tag them or, or i'll add them to the video so you can see the different examples and you can learn how to identify this so this is fomatopsis shrinky and we'll catch you guys on the next video you can see the bottom yeah.